Wow, oh, this is a multicultural show tonight. I didn't know y'all were coming for this, did you? You had a Jewish Muslim guy, you had a white woman, and now you got a black man, so you got the whole circle. Appreciate y'all coming to hang out, man. This is my first time here, first time in Utah. Yeah, nice. Very nice, man. Yeah, Pro Bowl's off the chain. I rode around today, got tons of uh, great pictures, man. Yeah, I took pictures of other black people, man. That's all I did. <laughs> Yeah, it was only 12 of us. It didn't take me long I got on back to the hotel. <laughs> Some of y'all laughing way too hard. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. But this is all love anyway, man. This is a beautiful thing. Flew in, obviously, man. I flew in from Atlanta, Georgia. I made a huge mistake, man. As a comedian, I broke the golden rule. You never, ever, ever tell somebody what you do for a living if you're a comedian. It's never gonna go good. There's nothing good that can come out of that, man. One or two things are gonna happen. First thing they're gonna say, tell me a joke. <laughs> Obviously, it always happens, man. Or the second thing is what? They're gonna tell you a joke. <laughs> Three hour flight, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. But something saved me, though. It was kind of a blessing from God, man. It was a lady in the seat behind me, and she happened to be a nurse. And she made a horrible mistake as well. <laughs> She told the lady sitting next to her that she was a nurse. <laughs> Pressure's off me now. <laughs> oh yeah, you tell somebody you're a nurse, it's over, man. All I can hear is the lady behind me. I never turned around, but I could just hear, well, what, what do you think this rash is? What do you think this rash is? That's all I kept hearing, man. It's echoing in my brain. I can't get it out of there. What do you think this rash is? <laughs> oh my gosh. I wanted to turn around and look so bad. I was wondering what the rash was myself. <laughs> Anybody have to be a nurse? Anybody a nurse by any chance? You're not gonna tell nobody now, are you? The whole crowd. What do you think this rash is? You're gonna be seeing it tomorrow, sir. As soon as your wife wake up, just have your elbow right in front of her face. What do you think this rash is, honey? What do you think? Just get a mark and just put red dots all over you. Oh, man. It's cool being here, man. Growing up in the South, well, this is a beautiful thing, man. I love traveling around the country. This is my first time on stage, y'all. After doing comedy for 30 years, this is my first time on stage uh, for a whole year. A whole year and a half, man. This is my first live show. Yeah. I feel like I should do a stage dive right now. My spit just died. Would you catch me, man? Would you catch me? He move right out of the way, punk. I don't know what he think he was doing. I don't know what he think he was doing. We're down to 11 black guys. The other one died. <laughs> Granted, didn't catch him. <laughs> you really wouldn't catch me, though? Really? Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> she jumped. I saw you pee a little bit. I saw you pee just a little bit. Man. I didn't know he was going to touch the black guy. I could look at him. I didn't know he was going to touch him. Nobody told me that. I wasn't in the waiver. <laughs> Is that your husband sitting behind you? Sister. Say that again? Brother. Your brother? Yes. Oh, okay. You guys out on a date tonight. Okay, nothing wrong with that, man. Hey, I'm from Kentucky. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. No need to explain, sir. We ain't here to judge nobody tonight. <laughs> oh man, this COVID thing, boy, I don't know. We gotta get rid of this somehow, some way. Hope you guys are getting vaccinated. You guys, you got your vaccine, ma'am? You got yours as well, sir? All right, two shots or one shot? What dose did you get? Both of y'all got the two. There you go. Are you guys uh, anti-vaxxers? Where are my anti-vaxxers, y'all here? <laughs> You're not gonna get it, brother? No, I got it. Oh, you got it already? Anti means you're not gonna get it. You know that, right? <laughs> oh, I see the school system suffering up here, too. Okay, that's all right. Everybody got one in your family. Don't worry about it. Oh, you got your little sticker on and everything. Oh, I know what you were showing me. Don't do this to me, sir. I didn't know what that was. This show's getting a little freakier than I thought it was. Lead it in. I didn't know. I thought you were going to what do you think this rash is? What is <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I'm turning into a germaphobe, though. 
I'm getting there. I wasn't there before, man. Anybody else, man? Suddenly realize you're a germaphobe now? You're starting to go that route? Yeah, yeah, you shake your head yes. Yeah, I do this. I did this the other day. I didn't even realize I did it. The phone rang, and I didn't recognize the number. So I didn't answer it until I went and put my mask on. What am I doing? <laughs> it's taking a little too far at this point right here, man. I just don't know. There's so many different variants now. I don't know. Come on, COVID's very sneaky. It's changing right in front of us. We're fighting a mutant disease. I answered the wrong number, man. It'd be COVID on the line. Gotcha, I can't do 5G. Hey! Walking around next week. What do you think this rash is? What do you think this? Should I answer that phone? Oh my gosh. Tell you what though, man, I am glad to be here. Cause I look, last year, man, I was home for my birthday. I normally work on cruise ships, man, but we got dumped off the ship, man, on March 16th. And I've been back on the stage since. So March 23rd was my birthday and I didn't get to celebrate it, man, because you know, I was stuck at home, man. So again, the birthday came around again, still at home another year later. This is getting out of hand, man. This is getting out of hand, no more of that. I wanna get out and celebrate my birthday. I just turned 58, man, this year. Just turned 58 years old. Yeah. That's wild. When you say that in front of younger people, man, they look at you like you're, you know, I don't know, man, prehistoric or something. Just, 58 ain't that old, really, isn't it? No, not really, man. You always say that when you get to be 50, though. 58 ain't that old, man. It wasn't when you were 16. Look at that dinosaur walking around over there. Nothing wrong with getting older. I'm looking around the crowd, and I'm loving this, because most of my people here, I see all the older people here, man. 40 and over makes a noise. If you're 40 and over, make a little noise. 40 and over. Yeah, see, I told you, my people here. Let's go a little higher. 50 and over. 50 and over. Y'all in the house? 50 and over? Ooh, one more time and I'm done with it. 60 and over, y'all in the building. 60 and over? Mm. This is an old crunchy crew. I like this right here. Man. The crunchy crew is in the house. She said, keep going, keep going. I'm not there yet. 70 over? There you go. How old exactly? Oh, I'm not supposed to ask you that. That's rude. My mom said, never ask a woman her age. I wouldn't do that to you. That's true. That's why I asked you, how does she say? How does this woman right here? How do you? 78. 78. Wow. Show us the love. You're 78 years old. Still hanging out, man. Yes. I love it, man. Ain't nothing wrong with getting older. It's a blessing right there. Yeah, see, you're in show business. They say, never tell your age. Yes, yeah, that's the big thing. You're in show business? Never tell your age, man. I don't believe in that. I feel like whatever age you made it to is a blessing. Can I get an amen? amen. Can I get a real amen? Amen. About it, man. Somebody woke up dead today. They ain't having no fun. We having a great time right there. Cause listen, you only got two options. Listen, you only got two options. You either get older or you get gone. And I ain't ready to get gone, so I take more birthdays. Can I get another amen? amen. Yeah, I'm looking around, man. Most of my people are in the building hanging out, man. I see a young guy right there. How old are you right there? Sixteen. Sixteen? I got underwear older than you. You remember? Really Sixteen years old. Wow. I remember those days, man. Ain't nothing wrong with getting older. It's a blessing, man. Yeah, that's the goal in life. I got a younger nephew, they make fun of me. Oh, you getting old. I'm like, no, you just saying I'm getting more blessed. Ain't nobody trying to leave yet. Nothing wrong with getting older. Only thing about getting older, man, let's be honest. Only thing about getting older is your body go through changes. Come on, come on, forward and over. You know what I'm talking about. Your body go through all the little subtle changes, you don't get to decide what those changes are. Can I get an amen? amen. Can I get a real amen? amen? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Little subtle changes, you don't get to decide what those changes are. Oh yeah, there's a whole list of them too. There's a whole list of them, man. In fact, you know what? I'll start with the men. The ladies, I'll get with John in a minute. <laughs> Gotta talk to the fellas, man, because there's a whole list of stuff, and I know what we deal with as men. Number one on the list, man, for men. Now, here's the thing. The ball spot. Thinning of the hair, the bald spot. Yeah, around 40, 45 years old, that's when they start kicking in. See, watch this, man. Bald spot men makes a noise. Bald spot men? Oh, no, it's more than that. Come on now. You act like I don't see you. I'm looking right at you, man. Y'all don't understand? The lights is way up in the room. I see you, man. Your head is glistening out there. 
you like little stars twinkling in the dark. I see you, sir. <laughs> Trying to hide you. He pointed them out. Don't point people out, sir. <laughs> stitches get stitches. Didn't he just tell you that, man? Don't you do that. <laughs> now, who are you pointing at? Who is this to you? Who is he to you? It's my dad. That's your dad? All right, dad. Why you didn't raise your hand, man? <laughs> I didn't hear you. You didn't hear me? <laughs> Come sit at the 70 table, man. You can't hear me? I got this big old microphone, you can't hear me. Come on up here, man. Come on up to the rash table. Come on up here. That's one of your kids? Yeah, it's my oldest. Your oldest. All right, how many kids you got? I have four. Four? All right, where's the rest of them? They're at home. Did they know you were leaving or y'all just left? You didn't even tell them. I, uh, I'll bring the favorite one, leave them other ones at the house. They don't fend for themselves. I'm telling you, man, you gotta deal with that, that thinning of the hair, the bald spot thing, man. It's just a part of what it is. Ain't no big deal about it, man. I'm a little envious, though. I'm a little envious of white guys, though. I'm a little envious, man, because y'all get that bald spot, y'all can do a little hairdo maneuvering and trick people for a while. Come on, you know what I'm talking about, white guys. You get that bald spot, man, you part your hair, slap it back over your head. The bigger the ball's about, the further you point it down, slap it back over your head, <laughs> like a little hair bridge. <laughs> I saw the white guy at the mall the other day, y'all. Gigantic ball spot. Looked like he pulled hair from his armpit and swirled it all the way around. <laughs> this dude is fighting it to the end right here. He Looked like the Taliban. That's ridiculous, sir. That's a true beehive you got on your head right there, man. See, black man, we get a ball spot. You only got two options as a brother when you get a ball spot. That's all we got. Two options, two options only. See, watch this. Black men in the house make some noise right now. Black men in the house. <laughs> we got three of them, man. It shows a lot. We got three of them, yes. According to the census, 50% of the population of black men showed up to my show. That's a beautiful thing. Man. Some of y'all laughing, that's not even a real math on that thing. I told you it's 12, there's only three up there. That's not 50%. We're gonna have to fix this education system. We gotta do it. Now y'all got two options as a black man when you get a ball spot. Two options, two options only. And I'm gonna go to our experts in the balcony. Option number one is what? Shave it on off. That's right, exactly right. Option number two? Shave it on off. That's all you got. You gotta let it go or let it go, man. You can't lay an afro sideways. You can't do it. <laughs> you lay it down, it'll pop right back up. I'm telling you, man, it'll come right back in place. <laughs> Speaking of comb overs, man, your former president. <laughs> Look at the Trump people getting nervous now. Where is he going with this? Calm down, man. This is not gonna be a political rant. I don't do political comedy. This is a hair follicle rant. That's what this is. <laughs> but really, he ain't got a comb over anyway, though. If we're honest, it ain't really a comb over. It's more of a swoop forward. Y'all see that thing? <laughs> Some days the wind hit it right, look like a claw sitting up there. Y'all see that thing on his head? He can hold his own press conference. Mr. Trump, if you're listening right now, sir, I don't know if it's real hair. That's the only reason why I brought it up. I see you on TV all the time. Is it real hair, man? Does anybody know? Is it real hair? Anybody know? Some of y'all say yeah, some of y'all say no. I don't know. Look like a muskrat sitting on his head. You ever seen that thing? Be careful down south. It's hunting season. <laughs> Tell you, man. Body go through changes. You don't get to decide what those changes are. Little subtle changes. You don't get to decide what those changes are. Number two on the list for men, man. Belly fat. <laughs> belly fat for men, around 40, 45 years old, that's when everything kicks in, man, belly fat. Now listen, you be a big guy, a little skinny guy, but I'm telling you, the gut's still coming. Come on, man, I know what I'm talking about. That's why I wear these bloused out shirts. I know how to hide my gut. <laughs> but understand this, I'm not the only gut man here. I'm not, see, watch this, gut man makes a noise. Gut men? Woo! <laughs> oh, it's more than three of y'all, come on now. Come on there, I saw some of y'all standing out there in line. I saw y'all. 
Somebody got your shirt tucked in. Stop tucking your shirt in. Built like a sweet potato. That's ridiculous. <laughs> big old gut and big old butt. You just strolling, too. You don't even care, man. It's a comedy show. Oh, see me some comedy. You visualizing that right now. I can see you thinking about it right now. I don't know why my men tuck their shirts in. Stop doing that. Blouse that thing out, man. Yeah, you don't need to go on a diet. Just buy bigger clothes. That's all you do. Simple minds. You don't run out of material? Yeah, we'll ship more in. Get too big? Just J.C. JCPenney. We'll just lay a blanket over you, man. Just... Huh. The reason why I got a gut, man, we're being honest. I feel like we're family now. We can share some things. The reason why I got a gut, because I love to eat. That's my thing right there. I love a good meal, boy, and I get it in every day. Six meals a day, man, every day, like clockwork. Come on. Come on, man. What, what time is it? It ain't even, eight, what? ain't even nine o'clock yet. I'm already on five meals. Anybody else love to eat like me? Where my food is at? Y'all love to get it in, too? Yes? I love a good meal, man. Oh, yeah. Here's the problem, though. I love to eat. But the problem is now, man, you get a little bit older, you can't digest some things like you used to. <laughs> yeah, when you was older, when you were younger, you could eat whatever you wanted to. Didn't really have to worry about it. Didn't have to stress about it. I'm like a little billy goat. If I saw it, I wanted it, I ate it. That's when I was younger. Now, <laughs> got a lot of older, man. Body can't process some things no more like it used to. Yeah, I see some of y'all shaking your heads right now. Yeah, you shake your heads, sir. What can you not eat that you used to eat? What's some food that'll tear you up now? Jalapenos. Jalapenos. Yeah, jalapenos. <laughs> you still eat them though? You still eat them every once in a while? No, you don't want to pay that price, do you? <laughs> Listen, you can still eat them, man. You just have to plan ahead. <laughs> That's all, yeah. You can still eat them, but put your drawers in the refrigerator before you start. <laughs> You're gonna need that cooling process a little later on, man. Come on, it ain't just me and you. Anybody else, man, got some stuff you just can't eat? You used to eat, you love it, man, but now you just can't do it. Anybody else? Nobody else? Oh, I'll tell you what it is for me. Oh, she's shaking your head. What is it for you? What can you not eat now? Corn. She can't eat corn. Can anybody else really eat corn? Come on, man, corn does not, it doesn't go away. You eat corn, man, you get them off the toilet, it's still corn. <laughs> that is one amazing food. I ate so much one time, I look in the toilet, it was a corn cob. It was back on the cob. <laughs> I think I'm a wizard back there now. How did I do that? <laughs> Thinking about chewing on some metal and make me a BMW. <laughs> You still eat corn anyway, though? Do you still eat your corn? No. You don't do it? You don't want to risk it? <laughs> Why not? Enjoy your life. People always say, life is short. Life is short. Have some corn. <laughs> yeah, me, you, and him, we're hanging out tonight. Yeah, jalapenos and corn. That's all we're going to eat tonight for the rest of the evening, just me and you. I can't do it either, though. I can't do jalapenos. I don't like hot stuff anyway. I can't do it. That's not my thing, man. Here's something I love to eat, though, but I just can't do it no more. I hate it, too, man. I can't do dairy anymore. Uh, uh, yeah, cheese, yogurt, man, milk, all of that. Cottage cheese, none of it. It's out of play now. Can't do it. Anybody else lactose intolerant besides me? I see some hands right there, yeah. Right there, right there, up top, yeah, yeah. And when's the last time you had some? When's the last time you had some ice cream? Uh, last week. Last week. <laughs> Oh yeah, bad idea, see that's what I'm saying. Yeah, sometimes I go ahead and go for it anyway. That's what I'm telling the corn lady, sometimes you just gotta go for it. Yeah, now, I didn't know I had two shows tonight. I thought I was doing one show, so I had some ice cream early. I'm bubbling right now. Oh yeah, this ain't the good seats now, are they? You might wanna put a second mask on now. The green fog is coming, that's all I'm trying to tell you. That's why I've been patting my side the whole time while I'm afraid. Y'all didn't even notice till I just said I've been patting my side, trying to get that bubble to go down my pants leg. 
I can feel it going too, man. It's going down, man. This shoe might come flying off. Get ready, sir. Shrapnel coming your way. Feel like you're back in now. Woo, I can't do it, man. Ooh, wait. I tell you what. I ate it one night, boy. I set the smoke detector off. Cause something about nighttime, man, where your body just relaxes way too much. You ever notice that? Yeah, during the day, man, I eat the ice cream. I'm okay, I'm fine, man. Till later that night. That's when it goes down. I was laying there one night, man, sleeping real good. All of a sudden, it just relaxed way too much. Just bah! out the smoke detector. I jump up, I ran out, man. I'm standing out front like, how come nobody else came out here? Now I'm scared to go back in because I'm smoke inhalation. I can't take that chance, you know. They should have ran out when I ran out. <laughs> you look very uncomfortable right now, Sarah. Are you okay? She make you sit here. She made you sit in the front, didn't she? I can tell, man. You're kind of reserved guy. You didn't want to be in the limelight. You're like, man, I don't want the comedian don't talk to me. Now I'm talking to you and making it even worse. I apologize, man. Is this your lovely wife with you? Oh, yeah. How long you been married? <laughs> it turned into a game show. Did y'all see his face? Oh. You want to phone a friend? You can. <laughs> you want to consult with her and get back to me? Say that again? You didn't want to spit out the wrong answer. 10 years is the right answer. See, man, it's okay. Yeah. See, it's been so beautiful for those 10 years. It just all kind of meshed together and it's flowing through. And that's why you couldn't really differentiate the year after year after year because the bliss is still kicking in. That's how you save another brother. You guys are fun, man. I'll tell you what. Ladies. We were laughing at the men earlier. Now it's your turn. All my ladies make a little noise right now. Ladies, gravity is not your friend. Can I get an amen to that? Can I get a real amen? Come on, ladies, gravity is not on your side, man. When you get to a certain age, certain outfits, you can't wear it no more. You just can't do it no more, man. A prime example, man. I got an auntie, I love her to death, very beautiful lady. 74 years old. But every summer, she want to whip out the halter top. I know. We all sitting on the porch like, man, who's that coming this way? Like, I have no idea, but look like they're smuggling two bags of nickels. <laughs> that is as clean as I can do that joke. That's a whole nother version of that joke right there. I'm just trying to get my check tonight. They say keep it clean, so. I'm trying to keep it provo clean. I'm just trying to get my check. That's all I'm trying to do, man. I do love her, auntie. She is a very beautiful lady. But she made everybody panic, y'all. One Sunday morning, she called the house and made everybody panic. She like, everybody come over quick. I need everybody to come to the house quick. I can't straighten my back up. I think I got osteoporosis. I can't straighten my back up. Everybody come quick. So we all rushed to the house trying to find out what the problem is with auntie. As soon as we got there, y'all, we found out exactly what it was. She be getting dressed for Sunday school. And she wanted to wear her strappy Roman sandals. So she had bent over and started strapping them on. Got halfway up her shin and realized she didn't put a blouse on yet. That's as far as I can go with that joke, too. That's pretty much it. There's a whole nother version, man. Just trying to get my own check, all right? <laughs> Look at somebody explain to other people. Look at people explain to other people, man. Look at I saw that. <laughs> oh, man, I got it there, man. She had the grill marks and everything. Y'all should have seen it. That's, that's all I can say on that one, man. <laughs> Listen, y'all been a wonderful crowd, man. Provo, I appreciate y'all. Spike Davis, thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much.